Hey everyone, it's Claire. This is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go out to thrift stores or estate sales or a bunch of other places and I look for things that make me happy and I bring them back here, try and find out as much as I can about them and then make videos to show you guys. And if it looks like my iPad is a little bit farther away than normal, it's because I've had to raise the camera up by about a foot. Uh, what I've got today is, I don't think it's could be qualified as small, but I'm going to show it to you anyway because I find it ridiculous. Anyway, here we go. It is this monster. <laughs> and I really can only describe it as that. This thing is enormous. I'll show you kind of roughly what this. Here's my trusty ruler. It is, if I can just get it into the shot, like 10 inches high. You can see about like the body of it's going to be about maybe four and a half to five inches at the widest part. Like this thing is big and heavy. Now, so I got a, okay, I got a bit of show and tell for you guys today. I have my weighing scales. I just have a zero in. And it is currently set to, um, okay, you know what, I'm just going to, Okay, I'm just going to change it to pounds and ounces just so you guys can see this. Now, the reason that I'm finding this entire, this, this thing faintly ridiculous is the fact that for a glass pitcher, this thing weighs an absolutely freakish amount. I'm just going to pop it down here on our scales. And for some reason, this is showing me fluid ounces. I don't know what you're doing. Okay, so f four pounds, two ounces. Um, I, I weighed this earlier using uh, using metric as well, and it worked out to 1.8 kilos of glass. Because to be honest, that you know the imperial stuff doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But you know, here you go, just over four pounds on its own, and almost two kilos of just glass. Now, okay, so I got this as part of a lot of glassware that I bought of a guy for for about twenty dollars. Um, I was intending to just kind of take it and just like, you know what, I think I'll just give this to a thrift store and let someone else appreciate it. This kind of stood out to me just because I cannot think of anything more utterly impractical in my life than a large glass pitcher, which is presumably designed to hold some kind of liquid, maybe water, being so heavy you can barely lift it just on its own. Like, I, I would need two hands to comfortably hold this thing because it is just that heavy. I have no idea who thought this was a good idea who, or who thought it was practical. You can see that it's pressed glass. It, there's actually mold lines running. There's four mold lines actually running. So it's like one, two, three there, four there. And you can kind of see it running up the spout. There's the, mm, kind of see it there a little bit. And then the one at the back. Like, this would have been made in a massive, massive mold. Okay. So where did it come from? All right. So I ended up looking this up. This is anchor hawking. Again. <laughs> like, the, the 1960s apparently were a weird time for everybody. But I do have my iPad. And I've obviously got some videos to show you, or some pictures to show you what on the earth this thing is. So this pattern is Wexford. It is a particular collectible pattern from that was produced by anchor, anchor hawking starting from the 1960s, uh, 1967 up to about 1993. This particular one I believe is probably older. It's going to be from either the, the, the late 1960s or it's going to be in like the early 1970s. It's just, <laughs> I can't believe it's so big and heavy. It's ridiculous. So this, you can see the pattern here is very distinctive or whatever. So this is actually a collectible thing. This is not just like some random no name glass pitcher. This is actually something, you know, worthwhile and cool. I have no idea who would even want this though, except to just put it on a shelf or maybe use it for flowers or something, because it's just 
I'm just baffled by it. It's so heavy. <laughs> I, I literally picked up, I started laughing. And once I actually read up of what it was, that this is actually like a desirable collector's piece that people look for, like one like this, but which by the way, I have to say heavy glass, but it is in perfect condition. There are no chips, no cracks, nothing. It is exactly as it came out of the factory, as far as I can tell. Like, you are going to pay probably over $100 just to ship this anywhere outside of Canada, like in Canada, outside of Canada. I don't know. It's just way too heavy for anything. And it's certainly too heavy for practical use. So I would be betting that like, if someone is going to get this, it'll be a collector, someone who's going to put it on a shelf and never use it. Or it's going to be someone who will who like use it for flowers or something, who knows. Anyway, I kind of like it. I will maybe put it up on eBay and say local pickup only because the cost to ship this is going to be ridiculous. But we'll see. I, I don't really know. To be honest, I still kind of like the, the fact that I'm laughing at it. And I, I kind of hope that wherever you are, that you're laughing at it too. Just <laughs> I'm telling you, the 60s, man, they were apparently a wild time for everybody, even the glass makers. So <laughs> I'm going to go and fix my camera now and I'm going to drop it down to my usual height. I hope you enjoy this, this piece of ridiculousness. So have a good day, guys. Bye bye.